What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And we just talked to Zoltan, who gave us a big giant list of names of girls to talk to. Uh, to find the, the poet guy. So, my objective is saying to talk to Zoltan first. I don't know why, but let's... Let's talk to him real quick. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's <laughs> her. Sure. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa of our Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What has it her does now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. All right, now that I got some information on all of them. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right, let's roll. So I guess we'll start with Vespula, because Vespula, because that's the, that's where the objective was pointing us first, so let's go. Looks like she's just going to be right up ahead. I will get you every last copper, with interest. Give me a week. Please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be?
Ooh, what should I say? Mine or the King of Beggars? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's got to be. Hey, I got out of it without a, without a fight. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What did you... Oh, I know you. You're that witch I took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Gerald. Oh. Dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvier, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but... It would be nice if you dropped by. I'm just gonna make the same mistake again. Alright, let's talk to... E oh man, I don't know how to say that one. Eli Hell. Eli Hell. At least they're all pretty close together. It's not like they're all super far apart. Alright, here we go. In this house. If I can get through the door. Welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Howe? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Howe was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Oh god. Any better? <laughs> so you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. God. <laughs> what happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago, he brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. 
All right, Thanks I'm not gonna help. ask why he dresses and, that way. Uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Yep, you're first on my list. All right, let's go. Talk to Molly. All right, she's a little bit further away, but that's all right. Oh, ducks. Oh my goodness. Or goose. They, they look kind of like ducks to me. Beaver, booger me. Ah! I also need to get a re weapon repair kit. Looking my sword nice is broken. wonder if this guy's got one. Oh, that's one way to get down. Let's talk to him. The best stock in all Novigrad. Yeah, we'll see. No need to push enough for. Uh, no one to push. Very good, man. Let me have a look. Nope, no weapon repair kits. Only food. That's all right. Farewell, dude. Bye. Ooh. I'll find some somewhere. In the meantime, let's just keep talking. What's up with the black spot on the map? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Are almost there. I think I need to go up these stairs. Hang on. Uh, can't get in through there. I'm gonna try and go around. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, a notice board. Take everything off that. Haunted house. Ooh, Gwent tournament. I just saw a Gwent tournament. I'm like super addicted to Gwent. <laughs> this Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Lata? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. 
I don't know, should I go with him or should I? I guess I'll go with the well, one I if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Man, let's race, man. Mm. This guy is trying to... Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. I think I'll take the Grey Mare. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Oh boy, let's do this race. Riders, ready! Let's go! Faster. Go, go. Oh man, my stamina is gonna run out soon. Come on, Witcher. Get up. Let's see what you're made of. Hey, yeah. I adore the speed, the rush of air. I'm blocking him. I'm blocking him. <laughs> Don't spare the horse. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> I just ran out of stamina at the, the end there. I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Superior racing saddle, sweet. Ah, look! Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I should be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. That guy seems okay. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to her. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. 
Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful time in all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Or they're not related. Mm -hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. All right, next one. Yeah, I'll go with what's his face. I wonder where he is. He's up there. Ooh, those hops though. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. All right, so we got two more girls to talk to. Marabella and Rosa Varatier. What's the rush? Oh, man, this is a big city. I feel like I haven't walked across oh, the same place twice. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. I'm being oh, respectful. He'll not come after. I'll even wait outside the door. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. 
He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. This dude seems so weird. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. All right, last one. Ow, my dad doesn't like me. Oh, this way. Shady individual. Be gone. Well, well, another fight. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> What's up with this guy? Why is he? Why is he a shady individual? Look! Look! Well, okay. Find a way in. Can I go this way? What's in here? Treasure chest. I don't think this is helping. But I'll keep going anyways. Oh wait, maybe. What happened here? Love letter. Interesting. Let's read it real quick. Just some dead guy on the side of a cliff. Is it a quest item? It is not. Let's read it. For the first one, I said I'd spawn the faithful eating. Blah 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 blah. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Uh, 
Uh, this is lock two. Oh, here we go. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. You realize what you've got yourself into. So she's probably gonna want a sword this fight with me. She's got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. What's your Grab a wooden one and take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambush. It's a nice house. Ah. Grab, a, grab a wooden practice sword. Follow me. Ah. Oh. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Ooh, we got those training clothes on that we were wearing in the beginning. Man, she dare fight me. Whoa! It's all about that dodge attack or that dodge function. If you couldn't do that, why bother with two swords when you can? Damn it! Oh, she's done, I guess. Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for a witcher. That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly, but we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Okay. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> oh, she said she's ugly. <laughs> Oh man, I'm killing her this time. Well, not killing her, but. <laughs> Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Drat it! You're quick! 
You should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Uh oh. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Oh, other twin sister does not like that. Before I go, let me talk to Zoltan real quick. Did I go upstairs by accident? Oh no, I didn't. There we go. I'll talk to Zoltan and then I'll probably take a little break. Let's go. Another shady individual. You're probably supposed to follow those guys, I bet. Uh, another one. What? <laughs> Is this town full of shady individuals? That's all. Those are the only people who live here. Alright, we're almost to Zoltan. Is that a real repeat. bird? <laughs> ah, 
Ah, you're back. You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Mix up dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.